Well, thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about Mary Edwards Walker, who was a Jack, or Jill, of all trades. So fact number one, Mary Edwards Walker was a prohibitionist, abolitionist, feminist, a lot of other ists. <laughs> she was a prisoner of war as well as a surgeon. She was the youngest of seven children, was raised in a very non-traditional family. Her family was religious, but they definitely encouraged her to look outside of her own religion and explore other things around her. She actually was very interested in farm work. She was raised on a farm, and her family had no problems with her wearing trousers when she went out and worked in the field. So they had a very open mind, especially for some family, uh, to someone during that time. Fact number two, Mary became interested in medicine when she was a very young child. She was born in 1832, so the early 1800s, and she would actually study her father's medical texts. She taught school in order to raise money so that she eventually went to Syracuse Medical College where she graduated with a degree in 1855. Also pretty outstanding for a woman during that time. Fact number three, Mary constantly challenged gender norms throughout her life. Just like she liked wearing trousers when she did farm work when she was a kid, she continued to push the boundaries of fashion throughout her entire life. She loved wearing trousers with short skirts on top of it, as well as wearing top hats. She actually wrote two different books on the health hazards of women's fashion. She very much did not like what was uh, considered normal during that time for women. She also refused to change her last name. Um, when she got married, she retained her last name. And when she was in school, she refused to leave the debate club even though they did not want to allow her to join because it was previously an all men's club. So this debate club then became all men plus her. Fact number four, Walker is the only um, woman to have been awarded a Medal of Honor. When the Civil War started, she decided that she wanted to join the Union Army um, as a surgeon. Of course, they did not want to allow her to do that, um, so they allowed her to join as a nurse. But a few years into the war in 1863, they did allow her to become a surgeon because they really just needed the extra help. She would very often throughout the war cross enemy lines so that she could help treat civilians that were being injured on the battlefront. During one of those times when she was crossing enemy lines, she was helping a Confederate doctor set um, someone's leg, amputate someone's leg, and she was captured by the Confederate army and held as a prisoner of war. Of course, they wanted her to um, concede to their rules as far as women's fashion and tried to put her into the typical dress during that time, and she did not like that very much, so she continued to wear trousers. Even when she was a prisoner of war, she maintained her style and the fact that that was what she wanted to wear. That was definitely a very important part of her identity. When the war ended, um, she was released as a prisoner of war and was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Andrew Johnson. In 1917, they actually, uh, the Army ended up stripping her of that award because they decided that she was not worthy of it. In 1977, President Jimmy Carter ended up um, posthumously giving her back that award. Fact number five, Walker devoted the rest of her life to women's rights and the women's equal right to vote. In 1871, she attempted to register to vote, and unfortunately, the American suffragist movement sort of thought of her as an oddball and didn't totally agree with her tactics. The suffragist movement in England thought that she did a lot of really awesome things and very much respected her throughout her entire life. Unfortunately, she died in 1919, only one year before the women's right to vote. Um, so she did so much in order to try and make that happen, but she just barely didn't see it occur. Thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday where we learned all about Mary Edwards Walker, this incredible Jill of all trades. Please join me again next Wednesday for another Women Crush Wednesday. Mm -hmm.